I'd like to show you how to do testing with the fiber optic test equipment included in your toolkit or your test kit. These are the Fotec mini instruments, a mini source model S770 which has two LEDs at 850 and 1300 nanometers and a meter, the M712, which reads dBm and read out at 850, 1300 and 1550 nanometers. The way we do a test is attach a launch cable to our source, calibrate the output of it with the meter and then attach that to other cables to do our actual testing. The first thing we're going to do is to take the dust cap off our cable. We always keep the dust caps on our, our connectors except when we're using them. I'm then going to use an alco pad and clean the end of the connector to get any dirt off it and attach it to the 850 nanometer output of my source. I'll turn on my source, take the other end of my cable, remove the dust cap, clean it, attach it to my meter, turn on my meter and read the output. The output is minus 20.4 dBm. That's about 10 microwatts of power. It's 20.4 dB less than a milliwatt of power. That's what dBm means. It's de decibels with relation to a milliwatt. Now if I'm going to measure loss, what's going to happen is my numbers are going to get bigger. Minus 20.4, now minus 20.5 as the source warms up. Um, is going to, minus 20.5 would be a tenth of a dB less power. Minus 21.4 would be a dB less power. So as the numbers get bigger, I have loss. So what I can do is I can merely subtract numbers to measure loss or I can do it simpler with a Fotec source. I can use the adjustment on the uh, end panel to set my output at a precise value. So after my source warms up, I set my value to minus 20.0 dBm. Now whatever I measure makes it easier to test loss. Mostly I'm going to be measuring loss of a few dB, so it's not going to be big numbers. So if I have a connector that has 0.5 dB of loss, I'm going to measure minus 20.5. Okay. So now we've taken our reference launch cable and set the output power. To test another cable, what we're going to do is we're going to take a reference cable, attach it to one of these little mating adapters. It allows us to put an ST connector in either side and has an alignment bushing in the center to align the two ferrules exactly. So I remove my launch cable from my meter. I do not m remove my launch cable from the source. Once I attach it to the source and set my output power, I leave it alone. I can turn the source off and take it to a remote location, turn it back on, but I don't take that cable off because each time I mate that connector to the source, I may get a slightly different value. I take the output of my launch cable where I know I have light coming out at minus 20.0 dBm. I attach that to one end of a mating adapter. Now I can attach another connector. So I take another cable, remove the dust cap, take my alco pad, clean the connector, attach that to the other side of the mating adapter. Now I have two connectors mated together and I have loss. There is no loss to a single connector in fiber optics. Loss is always specified as the loss of a mated pair of connectors. And the loss in this mated pair is going to be determined by how good that connector is on the end of my reference cable, how good that connector is on the cable we want to test, and how good the splice bushing or mating adapter is. Uh, you cannot ignore mating adapters in the loss. In particular, there are mating adapters that are available in the marketplace that have plastic alignment sleeves in them. Please don't use these for testing. They're good for about 10 insertions and then the ceramic ferrule of the connector shaves off the plastic of the alignment sleeve and creates a good attenuator. Only use the uh, mating adapters that have phosphor bronze or ceramic 
a lining with sleeves in them. They're a little bit more expensive, but they will give you much longer service life, 500 to 1,000 connectors or more. The other end of the cable now we attach to the power meter. The power meter has a large area photo detector in it, so it gathers all of the light. So it has in effect no loss. The, the loss that we see in this connection here and the small amount that might be in the fiber optic cable that we have connected is all the loss that we're going to see. Even at 850 nanometers, a one meter length of cable has only about three thousandths of a dB of loss in the fiber itself. So the loss we measure is really the connector loss. Now, we have minus 20 dBm coming out of this connector, loss in this connector, and the measurement on our meter says minus 20.5 dBm. That means we have five tenths of a dB of loss in this connector. And that's how simple testing is. This is what we call the single-ended method of testing because we're only testing one end of this cable. Notice a couple of things. One is that the meter can change readings. If I put pressure on these connectors, if I just twist them, I can add almost a d half a dB of loss. So try not to put stress on the uh, cables. Don't put stress on it here. You can see the loss goes up again. Have all your cables laid, laid out very loosely and don't put stress on them because it will affect the loss. I can also take the um, cable here and tie a knot in it. It's my way of illustrating the fact that fiber is not fragile. And now the reading is minus 22.0. I have 1.5 dB of loss in that cable. If I take the knot out, it basically goes back to where we were, 20.5. So fiber cable is very rugged and you won't harm it in normal usage, but it will cause variations in the loss if you bend it, particularly around the back of the connectors. And that's the most fragile place where it can be broken. This is what we call a single-ended test. It's single-ended because we're only testing the connector that's mated to the reference connector. We can actually take this cable now and turn it around. We can take the end off the meter and put it on our reference connector and the end off the reference connector and put it onto our meter and we measure four tenths of a dB of loss, which is slightly less than before. What we're actually doing now is measuring the loss of the connector at the other end of the cable. So by reversing the cable, we're testing the connectors on each end. This is very, very good when we're trying to troubleshoot bad cables. If we have a high loss cable and we test it this way, single ended, we can tell if a connector on either end of the cable is bad and which connector is bad is the one that we want to find and replace. So this is a powerful tool for actually troubleshooting what's bad about a fiber optic cable. Now, you'll notice that we have two cables, a launch cable and here's our output power and another cable which we've just tested. When we test cables installed in a system, the network cabling in a system, we test not single-ended the way we're testing here, but we test double-ended. And the way we do that is we have two cables that we use as a launch and a receive reference cable. And the way we do that is we take our source and our mating adapter to a remote location. We'll take a second mating adapter and attach it to the cable that's still on our meter, that's the receive cable, and then we can attach yet another cable in between these two and measure it. So here's another cable, we'll take the dust cap off, clean the connector, attach it to our launch cable, take the dust cap off the other side, clean it, attach it to our receive cable. Now, what we're testing is the connectors on both ends. We know how much light is coming out of our launch cable. We have a loss here in this pair of connectors. We may have loss in this install cable, and then we have loss in the second connector that's attached to the meter. 
So we're measuring the loss of both connectors and anything which might be lossy in between, like for example a long end length of cable. When we measure this, those two now, we measure the sum of both of those connector losses in any of the cable. In this case it's eight tenths of a dB of loss. This is what we call a double ended test because we're measuring both ends of the cable we're testing. This is the cable we're testing. We're testing the loss at both ends plus anything in the middle. We're using a launch cable and a receive cable. This is what's called a double ended test. And this is how it's specified that you test the cables that are installed in a building, for example, after you install them. This is the way network testing specifications are all written. And you have to make sure of one thing, that you always set your reference with one cable only. Some people have misinterpreted old standards to say that you set your reference with a launch cable and a receive cable to do this double-ended test. That is wrong. All of the standards, EIA, TIA, 568, Appendix H, the test standards for gigabit ethernet, the test standards for lots of other networks are all written around the fact that you measure the output of the launch cable for your reference standard.